What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Tisha Campbell, Martin Lawrence. They just did a reunion almost a week ago. And it's pretty cool to see people on a show that I was a fan of in the 90s. Still am, right? But you grew up watching that, and then you, you see how it unfolded. Allegations being made. Basically was the demise of that show. And also the fact that Martin, I don't think, wanted to do it anymore. Be that as it may. Tisha Campbell has now made a, made things good with Martin Lawrence. And she has said as much, and we're going to get into what she said. But I, I made a couple videos about two years ago about Tisha Campbell and Martin Lawrence, about him speaking out, and then her now speaking out. Uh, Martin at the time, I believe, had to speak out because bad boys for life was coming out and you know that to this day well then in 2020 people still was concerned about that people were still on martin lawrence for that particular incident it loomed over his career ever since those allegations that she made against him came out and now everything is great, according to Tisha Campbell. I would like to know, was it a situation of convenience? The fact that she wants to be able to move on after the marriage with her career. And she wants to be able to work with Martin Lawrence again. Maybe this is something she's always wanted to do. And why did it take... Her getting divorced from Dwayne, Dwayne Martin, her ex-husband. Why did it take her getting divorced from Dwayne for this to happen? Those are the questions we have. Because for years, it has seemed like her and Dwayne was united in their sort of not liking Martin Lawrence and what happened on that show. But once the marriage dissolved, now everything is good with Martin. So that begs the question, was it really her? Or was it the fact that, you know, she was with Dwayne and maybe it made things tense with this on screen? Because, again, we don't really know 100 percent of what happened is her side is his side. But they end up going their separate ways. Martin goes on, she moves on, but now they've come back together. And the, the problem I have with this is that Martin was, he still had that cloud over his head, even though he still found success after the Martin show ended, it was still that cloud of, were you harassing this woman? And now we can see that maybe everything wasn't what it seemingly was put out there to be. But the fact that throughout all of this, he was still able to have a career. And mind you, he never had any of those allegations ever again, which shows you that, again, you never really know what's going on in the situation. You never know what's going on in somebody's mind. And we don't know what was going on in her mind, but what we know now is that all is forgiven. All is forgiven. And she wants to move forward, being cool with him again, working with him again. But I just find it interesting that this guy had this cloud over his head for years. And now everything is good. So let's get into this, uh, this article here. This is from... Yahoo. It says Tisha Campbell revealed that the cast of Martin is all healed after the sitcom ended in 97 amid harassment claims. The actress 53 opened up on Thursday's episode of People Everyday podcast about the chance to be together with her co-stars again 
for Martin the Reunion. Calling the reunion a celebration, Campbell admitted she was really, really nervous to come together with the cast, but necessarily because she hadn't seen them in a while. Instead, she was anxious to find out if the hit show still resonates with fans. I think it still does. Everybody pretty much looks the same. I mean, everybody, listen, everybody still looks looks the same. Look at, look at, uh, Tashina Arnold. Just look at Tashina Arnold, man. <laughs> Tell me if people don't look at the cast and say, yeah, you know, they definitely are resonating. I hope people embrace it as much as they, as much as they say they do. She said, I wasn't nervous about getting together with the cast because we we are all still friends. Remember that. She also said that despite the show ending in 97, amid a lawsuit she filed accusing co-star Martin Lawrence of harassment, their excitement to reunite and to honor late cast member Tommy Strong, or Strong outweighed anything negative from the past. Everything else is personal, is a personal situation that we've all healed from, she said. We're not even going to talk about it. Lawrence, who's 57, also addressed his reconciliation with Campbell at the premiere of the reunion on Wednesday. It's nothing but love with me and her. It's nothing but love, he told people exclusively. Carl Payne, who played Cole Brown, also opened up to people about the show's ending. I mean, you know, every family has its drama. Every family has its trials and tribulations and things like that. Every good thing must come to an end, said the actor who's 53. Wow, he's 53 years old. You can tell that this was definitely in the 90s. A lot of these guys were already, you know, a bit on the older side as far as like 20s, 30s. But man, time flies, doesn't it? I think it could have gone on longer, but it is what it is until it ain't. You know, uh, Carl Payne apparently may may or may not have had some issues with Martin. Maybe it was how the show ended. Maybe it was opportunities. But I heard that, you know, he didn't have a lot of good energy to give towards Martin. But maybe they was able to. Now, again, I heard that. I'm not 100% sure if that's legit, but that's what I had heard. The acclaimed Fox sitcom ran for four seasons on Fox before the actor's rift became public when Campbell accused Lawrence of harassment and only agreed to return to the show for the fifth and final, I say, for the fifth and final season if they never shot scenes together. Campbell accused Lawrence of repeated and escalating harassment, battery, verbal abuse, and related threats. Both sides were ultimately settled out of court. So something may or may not have happened, but it wasn't bad to the point to where they could not connect with each other. But here we are. Listen, I'm all about people reconciling. I'm all about people connecting getting, and getting things together. But again, this was a cloud over Martin's head for a long time. And he dealt with it. He dealt with it. But he moved on with his career. He never had any issues again. Now, Martin did go through an episode, I believe was in the 90s, late 90s, right around the time the show was ending. So he was going through things as well. So there were probably things that happened that we will never know. But what we do know is that she forgave him. What we do know is that she decided that, as she says, she wanted to heal. They all healed. And I don't think this should be held against Martin any longer. He should never have to answer questions about that ever again. Because the woman who had sued him and wanted to be done with the show because of him ultimately ended up making things right with him. So, also, so I don't think people should continue to ask this guy questions about it. He should never have to really speak about it. They both seemingly have moved on from it. 
and are better off for it. Now, did this reconciliation happen only because she divorced Dwayne? I wouldn't really necessarily say that, but it is interesting timing how once she's, you know, divorced Dwayne, that her and Martin Lawrence are connected. Now, maybe I'm missing something, but they're connected together <laughs> after she divorces Dwayne, right? After she divorces Dwayne, that's a messy divorce. Now everything is seemingly cool with her and Martin. So uh, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure y'all like the video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.